Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Episode 4. I am Kaito Yahiko, and in the last episode, we did Social Link with Nanako and Chie. And in this episode, we're gonna go up to our room and watch the Midnight Channel. Yes, let's go watch TV. This, this game teaches children to go watch TV. <laughs> but yeah, let's go watch some TVs. It's good times. It's raining tonight. Something may appear on TV. Yeah, something might appear. Let's go check it out. It's a smart thing to do. Oh gosh, somebody's on the TV. Someone appeared. It's an extremely vivid image. A boy standing with his back against a wall. <sighs> hey, creepy. You all think you can see me? You all think you know everything about me? <laughs> then try and catch me. That. Let's ask a question. Hey, did you see that? Who was that guy? I don't know him. Have you ever seen him on the news or some television special? No, but we have seen he him before. Really gloomy, like a zombie. Yosuke! Yosuke! All right, already. I hear you. Sorry, I'm gonna give the phone to Ted. <laughs> channel with my own eyes. Now I know exactly what's happening. That guy's suppressed emotions are resonating with the other side, which are picked up by the TVs over here. It's clear now that it's not being filmed by anyone. Mystery solved! Oh. Thanks, Teddy. Speaking of Teddy, by the way, though, and Chie, their voices, I thought, I, I might have mentioned, their voices got changed to Persona 4 Golden, their Persona 4 Arena, and the Persona 4 Anime. Teddy's voice is fine. Chie's voice kind of bugs me. It's not necessarily bad, like the voice fits the character, but the acting is, just doesn't fit the scene sometimes. When she's mad or yelling, it works fine, but when she's supposed to be serious, it does not always work. But that kid, he must already be inside the other world! What are we gonna do? Uh, we're gonna go in, but we need to plan, but we're gonna gotcha. go in. I knew I could count on you, Sensei! You can say strong test trust in you. I think my heart skipped a beat. Uh. In case you haven't noticed, by the way, Teddy's social link automatically levels up, so it automatically maxes out. I don't have to do shit. It just automatically maxes itself out. Which is kind of weird, but at the same time, it's fine. Teddy can have a follow-up attack. Yay. That's enough, Ted. Give me the phone. Hey, how could he be already inside? What happened to the blurry image that we usually see in advance? And did you hear what he said? Try and catch me. <sighs> now that I think about it, he looked like a high schooler. Hey, could he be? Nah, I better not jump to conclusions. Let's meet up at headquarters tomorrow. Alright? Later. Bye, Yosuke. Another phone call. People keep calling me today. It's she ate. That's because he was talking to me. Talking to me and not you. I was just talking to you, Kiko. Was, was that... You were capturing conversation with Yosuke and Teddy for her. Yeah, we gotta get to the bottom of this. Well, off to bed. Good night. Now, I haven't really looked it up. Does anybody know why they replaced Chie's voice actor? I think... Um, I don't know. I'm not really... I want to know why... I mean, it's... I liked it. It's summer break starting today! Woo! Summer break! Yeah! <laughs> okay, Risa and Teddy are checking out the other side. So we'll go ahead and start the meeting. Now about what happened last night. You guys all saw it, right? Yep. Yeah. Shit he said made my blood boil. That mumbling of his and those fish-like eyes pissed me off even more. Who the hell is he? I know. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. You too, Yosuke-kun? 
kind of? Look at how smart all of us are. It's just a hunch, but it makes sense. We've been told the suspect is a high schooler. The police are after him for the murder of King Moron. So to see that on TV last night, at a time like this? I mean, he even taunted the viewers, saying, try and catch me. Uh, so? No, oh, Kanji. All right. Let's say there's this high school student. We'll call him Shin. For some random reason, who knows why, Shin is able to enter the other world. Then Shin, again for some random reason, starts throwing people into that world intending to kill them. The police can't prove the other world exists, so it's the perfect crime. He can't possibly be caught. Now, imagine you're Shin, but after a while, people stop dying when you throw them in the TV. You don't know why. You want to kill King Moron, but the TV is out, so you have to do it personally. Now the police are on to you. As a result, you, I mean Shin, is a wanted criminal, and there's no place for him to run. So, you're saying he went into the other world to dodge the cops? Kanji, you're so smart. Oh, so that's why he said, catch me if you can. <laughs> wow, senpai, you're smarter than you look. And you're dumber than you look. Jeez, you can piss me off sometimes. We still don't know why he targeted people who were shown on TV. But... Whoops. Or Oka, that... that explains one thing. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That was a total accident. That was messing with the controller. I was messing with the analog sticks, press, you know, the L3 and R3, and I pushed the PS button. With a strong enough motive, Sorry. wouldn't he forsake the untraceable TV method and try to kill Mr. Moroka on his own? If you think about it that way, it sort of makes sense why Mr. Moroka died without appearing on TV. But I wonder what that boy's going to do now that he's in there. With Teddy on this side, there's no way for him to get out. You don't think he's going to get desperate and end it all? He did look depressed, like it was the end of the world. No, I don't think that's it. The killer has to know that the people he threw into the TV have come back to this side. I can see missing Yukiko or Kanji, but Risei, a celebrity? There's no way the killer wouldn't know she's still alive. So that means he knows there's a way out of the TV world. As for the rest, we'll just have to ask him face to face. Hey, good timing. How'd it go? Not good. There's not enough information to go on. But at least we're positive that someone's in there. I see. Wait, where's Teddy? He's still looking. Alright. So we need to find out who that guy is. And if he is in fact the one the police are after. Once we figure that out, we just do our thing. That's right. If he really is the killer and he's escaped into the other world, the police don't have a chance of catching him. So it's all on us. Yay. Full rank up. Yay. Well then, let's get digging. Okay. Yeah. We'll ask around. Whoops. So let's go talk to Kanji, because Kanji will be over here. Uh, yeah, you can have that. There we go. Another thing that they did in Persona for Golden that kind of makes things a bit easier is people who have a quest, they put a little marker above their head so you can tell if they have a quest. Makes things a bit easier. I mean, I found a great deal of quests on my own without having actually any help from a guy 
I don't need the music guy when I put Snowfall Golden. And I still maxed out, like, almost all the social links. That's pretty good. Hmm, info on the suspect. It's pretty tough. Seems like no one knows anything, huh? Instead of bitching about it, why don't we go right to the source? Just ask Dojima-san, he's your uncle, right? He'd tell you something. So, go ahead and go back into Shaw Town and go to the shopping district south. Because that's where he is. In the central shopping district, but in the south part of the central shopping district. He's over here. You? Hello. Whoops. A clue to the criminal investigation. You... I told you not to stick your neck into things. There's no way I'd tell you. Jeez. Damn, where did she go off to? She can't seem to get anything out of me. Yep, and that's it for today. Can't do anything else for today. So we go ahead and leave and go to sleep. We're actually we're gonna go talk to Nanako, but still. That's for the day. You could, if, you, if you're following me for some weird reason, you can go to the... Aya and go get some noodles because then you get plus four diligence. But my diligence is maxed out, so I'm not going to. I'm just gonna go straight home. Just to let you know. Welcome back. Thank you. Let's talk to you. We'll see if I can max you out today. I want to max you out. I want you to max. Yeah. And I need to max out Dutchman sometime. Eventually, at one point or another. I got a phone call from Dad. He's coming home. Let's make dinner together, big bro. <laughs> There's a lot to do today. Oh, yay. I bought a bunch of dishes, pickled radish, and veggies at Dunez. Big bro, can you make a salad? I eat salad for breakfast. Sure thing. Oh. Right, then you can use you can be the salad maker. Then I'll be the, uh, the egg sunny, sunny side up maker. <laughs> we'll just start eating our vegetables from now on. A well balanced diet is important. My teacher said that families help each other. After mom died, dad and me have both been lonely, but. But I have dad! And I need to do my best, so Dad doesn't feel lonely either. You're my family too, so let's work hard together. Yeah! She's so cute. Oh yeah. I'm giving this to you. That was really random. Like, why wasn't that one line acted? Family picture. It has Nanako and her parents in it. Dad made extra copies. You're family too, so you should have a family picture. Let's get a picture of you and me and Dad all together one day. <laughs> I love you, big bro. I love you too, adorable. Alright. Thanks again, Nanako. Perfect. Yay! Alright, thou art I and I am thou. Thou hast established a genuine bond. These genuine bonds shall be your eyes to see the truth. We bestow upon thee the ability to create Shrao... Shrao Sha, the ultimate son of this Arcana. Or whatever the fuck is. I didn't read the time this too before I read it. But whatever. The Nanako Dojima Social Link has reached its maximum level. You've mastered the Nanako Dojima Social Link. Yay, we can now make that one. Shrao... Well, shit. Scores of evil. We need to hurry. Oh, that'll be home before we're done. Okay. I'm home. Hey, Dojima. Welcome home. Yeah. I made dinner with Big Bird today. We made salad and um a bunch of other stuff. Good work, Nanako. Go wash your hands. Harry, sit down. Hmm. She's really cheerful. I'm sure it's thanks to you. 
Daddy, big bro, hurry, hurry! <laughs> I got it, I got it, let's eat that. Oh, Dojima, Dojima. Yay! Okay, so now it goes maxed. I am the winner. Fall clips, if it is making us project action, you need more information for me see. Yeah, I know. Let's go ahead and go out. Yes. Actually, that's in the episode. <laughs> Alright, let me go to Tunez. And we'll end the episode. I continue on in the next one. So, in the next episode, we're gonna go talk to Dojima. Okay? Dojima. Fucking damn it, Adachi. Talk to Adachi. This dumbass. Alright. Thanks everybody for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.